Hello, it's Bot Chief Editor. This video is about how to complete capture verification with actions in Bot Chief Editor. We can see capture verification especially when doing login or registration. We have three actions here for capture. Two for manual capture verification, one for automatic. Actions for manual capture verification are capture and new capture. Capture action is for common capture verification. New capture is for Google capture or capture which needs user to drag and click. Action for automatic capture verification is a plugin provided by service providers. It's to capture. Now I start with the first action, capture. How to complete capture verification with this action? Switch to a website. The action settings contain two parts. The first part is to select image. I select a control. The second part is to select an input box to enter the capture. If I'm going to complete dynamic capture, if I check this box, this action will save dynamic capture. This is the time it takes to get a screenshot. This is the interval time of each screenshot. This action will combine multiple screenshots into a dynamic picture and show it when I need to complete the capture manually. This is a timeout. And this is retry times if there is something wrong. I save the settings and test run it. When the module runs till this action, this window will pop up and you should input the capture manually. The capture was finished. For retry times, that is, if I want to skip this, if I click OK, the window will pop up again. The second action, new capture. Capture type. Click type or drag type. If I select click type, I can check to set if the picture changes after being selected or not. Now I switch to a website with Google Capture. Now I select a control. It's the pop up box with many squares after ticking this box. I can use that control in variable if I want to save that control to variable. Save settings. If I want to run this action, I should add a click operation action before it. That is, to take that box first and then to judge the location of the image to be dealt with. Some users may ask why I didn't finish this manually. Actually, I can do this manually. I once mentioned an action show variable. If I add a show variable action after control operate action before capture action, when the module runs to your control operate action, there will be a pop-up window which reminds you to deal with capture. After I finish this, I can close the pop-up window so that program can continue running. For capture and new capture action, 
if I run a few debug windows to deal with capture. Then I minimize these debug windows. If I add show variable action, I still need to manually find out the debug window to deal with one by one. But if I add a capture or new capture action, there will be a pop-up window where I need to finish capture verification. After I finish this, program will return verification result to specify the place in corresponding debug window. Next, I will talk about to capture. This action can deal with common capture and Google capture verification. Here is called recapture. Here to select solve recapture. These are parameters needed. Now I need to add some variables to store values needed through variable management. Now I select the variables that contain the corresponding values. This is the API key of to capture. Site key. Each web page with recapture will have a unique site key. Now I'm going to find this site key. Click Attribute and Document. Select Recapture. Here I find iframe tag. Content that starts with number 6 after the equal sign and ends with character i before the first and sign is the site key. This is the URL of this web page. After the recapture is solved by others remotely, there will be a return result. Now I need to add a new variable to save that result. These are descriptions of parameters. Save the settings. I should add variables including values needed by parameters proxy and proxy type. and select corresponding variables for them. Now I can save the settings. To capture action can't deal with capture alone, and I need to add another action, set value, as the return value will be input into a web control in current page. Now I insert set value action. The result will be input into a web control whose ID is the response and tag is text area. I can find that web control but it's invisible in the page. Here I select inner HTML, which means the return result will be input in inner HTML property of that control. 
Now save the settings. So, two actions needed to deal with recapture. When two capture action starts to run, it will deal with capture automatically and then save the result to a property of a web control. And here before to capture action, I don't need to take this box. Another function of to capture to deal with common capture. Here it's called text capture. These are parameters needed, but here is a file path. This is path for text capture image. Four actions to deal with text capture. I add a get image action. It can save the control saved in control variable to a local file in the form of image. I add a find control action to find the control where the text capture is and save the control to a control variable. I add a new control variable. And then save the control to a local path in the form of image. I add a new variable. Of course, I need to set the accurate location as the image path. After that, to capture will get the image from the path and deal with it automatically. Select variables for parameters. It will also return a result and you just need to input the result in this box. That's all for capture verification. Thank you.